What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Jerron Boots in this, and we got Brian Norman Jr. in the news. Unfortunate news is that it looks like these two won't be fighting each other next. It looks like Brian Norman Jr. has went his own way, and it looks like um, Eddie Hearn is a little bit frustrated, and Boots in this will more like, most likely fight his mandatory Karen Chawanka Wonka. All right, let me go ahead and uh, get into the article that, that was presented, and then, you know, I'll no, I do it. I drop my opinion out boys, all right? Now, shout out to, um, what's this, badlifthook.com. It says, Jerron Ennis versus Brian Norman Jr. Talks collab Norman to face Derek, I guess it's Derek uh, Cuevas, November 8th. That's my birthday. Shout out to the Scorpios. You know how we are. We guys give to Earth. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, it's funny, though. That's actually my birthday, though. But anyways, um... It would come as no surprise after Eddie Hearn's earlier comments top ranks Carl Moretti tells Dan Raphael that talks with of a unification bout with IBF welterweight champion Jerron Boots Ennis and WBO titleist Brian Norman Jr. are dead over money. Instead, Norman will meet number seven contender Brian Derek Qua, uh, what's that, Quaves on ESPN on November 8th under the Keyshawn Davis versus Gusto, Gustavo Lamo show. Quavis, who has the record of 27 and 1 with 19 knockouts, has completed competed all over the North and Latin America scene throughout the, his decade-long career. Though he is not yet, though he is yet to not touch a noteworthy win in his process, he did contrive to lose in the sixth round to Damian bon, Bonelli in 2020 on the heel of a year-long layoff, which making him the, his current sole, vic, sole victory of Bellani's list. Last 14, 14 bouts, excuse me. Norman, who is 26 and 0 with 20 knockouts, has immediately come out flat in the past. But after watching him work over the dangerous Giovanni Santillan in May, it is hard to sell Quavis as a credible threat. So, you know, nobody's really looking forward to this now. Um, you know, let's hear what Eddie, Eddie Hearn has to go ahead and say. Um, Eddie Hearn explains, shout out to BoxingScene.com, it says, Eddie Hearn explains the frustration with IBF Borderline Circus Act with Team Norman. There's been pl plenty of criticism fire in the direction of the IBF this year, mostly for stripping unified champions Alexander Usyk and Saquon Canelo Alvarez for the failure to face mandatory challenges of the limited commercial value. Hey man, listen, at least, at least the IBF is consistent. But anyways... Alvarez, instead of facing number one William Skull, it has a more lucrative outing against Edgar Berlanga September 14th in Vegas. Usyk, while Usyk rematches Tyson Fury, is understandably taking credits over the return of over a return with Daniel Dubois, whom Usyk had only recently defeated. And so Dubois was handed the IBF title and now he defends it at Wembley against Anthony Joshua on September 21st. I'm actually interested in that fight. If you guys haven't seen, go watch the face off. It's pretty, you know, pretty. I didn't realize that they had bad blood. However, promoting Eddie Hearn has is at a loss with the sanctioning body when it comes to their welterweight champion, Jerron Boots. In his ass, they want him to now fight the mandatory challenger, Karen Chawankawanka, the same fighter in his beat 12 rounds to zero some 18 months ago. In a short, it's, re it's a return that is meaningless. Anyone outside the Ukrainian had and his team, you know what it is. If you've got a mandatory challenger, you love the IBF rules. Uh, Hearn explained, and if you've got a champ, if you got a champion, you, you can't f and stand them. We've got a fighter in boots who's a superstar in the making. He's beating this guy, uh, Karen Chawanka Wonka, two fights ago, or whatever it was. He's a good fighter, the guy. He's a good fighter, the guy. And now we're trying to make some unification bouts, in which we are very close to doing. And actually, now we've got to fight this guy again. This week, negotiations between Ennis and WBO title holder Brian Norman played out publicly before fizzling out. The WBA title is titler is now in Stan Jonas, who has been upgraded to full champion following the de departure of Terrence Crawford from the weight class, which is how Norman and Ennis collected their belts. But you know, a lot of the times I respect the IBF and the way they actually con uh, actually don't care or acknowledge the commercial common sense in boxing at Heron Edit. I could phone the IBF president, Daryl Peoples, and, and just be like, Daryl, can we just 
have two minutes on this let's just put into perspective you are putting a uh, mandatory on us on a guy that we just beat two fights ago that no one wants to see sorry he's a mandatory why anyways unfor anyway unfortunately brian norman's team who are borderline circus act are now becoming i'm sorry now coming back going now coming back going oh actually we'll take the other offer so he's mocking them he's saying they're saying that they'll take another offer and it's like mate the ibf had called the purse bid under the ibf rules you can't get any explanation they've already called the purse bid so now we're going back to the ibf saying are you sure about this is there any way around it because i think brian norman it actually realized to himself blimly i've got i've dropped the ball and i've lost a fortune here it's frustrating and i and i think the most frustrating thing about the ibf and i love dairy peoples daryl peoples i think he's a great guy they just they won't just have a sensible common sense conversation and you know when not when they had those issues many years ago they were petrified of going against their own rules in which i guess some might say is refreshing Hearn is referring to the case that IBF founder Robert Lee imprisoned in prison for two years have been make, have been accused of making bribery parts of the body um, operations. The IBF this year has been questioned for heavily stripping unifies. Yeah, we already read that. If you look at okay, we already looked at it. So basically, he's not he's not happy. I mean, at the end of the day, the fight's not. It looks like it's it's not gonna really happen. You know. But let me go ahead and give you my opinion on this. Now, shout out to Mill City Boxing, man. Him and Zab Judah, they, I really like what they're doing and whatnot. So I was looking at their um, interview with um, with uh, Brian Norman Sr. And Brian Norman Sr. basically broke down why they didn't take the $1.7 million. Now, it has been confirmed that $1.7 million was the offer. And, you know, many people, you know, like myself, I'm not going to lie, felt like Brian Norman should have taken that offer. I mean, even Zab Judah was saying, like, bro, that's that's a good offer. And you, you have a chance to beat him him and if you beat him then you fight for double that offer in the rematch or whatnot right i mean and i do feel like i, I mean i still feel that way right and i but I, I do understand where brian norman was coming from saying that like okay basically you got to think once that 1.7 million comes out after the taxes and all that type of stuff you, he walks away with 800 and something thousand dollars and why that might be true and i and understandably like you know he wants his son to be living comfortable you guys you got to think that's the highest that you've been offered. That's the highest that you would be making. I would feel like you should have taken that offer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I, I understand that the money is important, but you have a chance to become you a unified champion. If should you beat Jerron Boos Ennis, who many who many is seeing, or who many feels like would be is the, the like the, the next big thing in boxing. So, I mean, honestly speaking, man, I feel like they should have taken it. Or they said that the fight should not be in, in Philadelphia. And I do understand that, too. You know, because Jerome Ennis, is a, is, he's he's becoming a star, but he's just not like this big draw. Like, a you know, uh, I don't even want to say like guys like Canelo, but like how Adrian Broner was a big draw coming up or anything like that. So, I, now, that part I do understand. Wanting it to be on neutral grounds. Maybe they have it, you know, in, in I don't think that it would do good in Vegas. Vegas, but you know maybe Atlanta uh, not Atlanta but Atlantic City or the boardwalk uh, you know something like that but but I do I can understand him not wanting it to be um in Philadelphia or whatnot you know get, let it be on even term even, even playing fields that part I understand but it's still like bro you should have taken that offer I mean I, I just feel like that was a good offer you would have made more money than you've ever made in your career and you had a fight a chance to fight for um a, a unify or a chance to unify the division but you know that's just the choice that they're gonna have to live with hopefully they can double back um and, and make this happen but I'm you know go ahead you know Jerron Ennis go ahead and take care of his um Go ahead and take care of his uh, his mandatory Karen Chawanka Wonka, and then go ahead and you know Jerron Ennis, um, not Jerron Ennis, but uh, Brian Norman take care of this guy on, on November eighth, and then maybe they can double back in, in two thousand twenty five. Because I mean, you know, I didn't think too many people really wanted to fight Jerron Boots Ennis, but it's exciting to see somebody that's actually willing to rise up. And I don't think that Brian Norman is ducking anybody. You know, I, I know for a fact that that they want this fight to be made. So. Hopefully, the, hopefully this fight can get made and, and they can build it up. I do 
feel like it should be a lot more eyes on this fight, but I'm willing to take it whenever. Um, I'm all about taking a fight when it's hot, right? So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know?